Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about philosophies. Philosophies. Philosophy means the love of wisdom. And in general, we go to school, we attempt to obtain an education so that we can think differently, better. We, uh, we learn knowledges for, through studies, facts, statistics, and we try to use that information to make better decisions. What guides our decisions in some ways is our overall philosophies. We call it a philosophy of life, a philosophy of business, a philosophy of organization. If you're in compensation, they call it a compensation philosophy. If you're in management, they call it a managerial philosophy. It is the wisdom that you use. It's the wisdom that you have in order to make certain decisions in your life. And this is what we try to do in education, whether it's taking statistics or whether it's taking uh, uh, accounting, management, leadership, human resources. A whole host of classes are intended to provide you with this knowledge that you can then utilize to create wisdom, and then you follow these wisdoms to guide your life. So there's a number of them that you can use. What I hope out of this discussion is everybody starts to create their own wisdoms. You certainly don't have to follow mine. Uh, you can certainly get ones that are, that are better, but our hope is through this class, through this curriculum, through this school, that you get exposed to certain wisdoms and they help you to think in a certain way, help you to think in a better way, help to think you think in a more enlightened way. And that was really part of what we learn about universities. The word university comes from the word universe, exposed to the universe to think more broadly. So I'm gonna give you three quick ones that I have um, that I, they're often at the top of my mind. One is that in the dawn of life, we strive to make a living. In the twilight of life, we strive to make a difference. And what I remember about that is when you're younger, you're so concerned about making it. When you're older, you oftentimes have made it, and you really want to make a difference. You want to do something with your time that improves something. And I find that as people age, that is certainly one of the more appropriate ones. The second one is, uh, which I often say to my kids, is that you can control the way you live your life. You can't control the way others judge your life. And so, sadly, we find that there's people that tend to want to judge us, uh, make comments, even be dismissive. Especially if you're young kids, you try to say, don't listen to other people. And I, this philosophy or this uh, saying, quote, I came up with is one that, that I think works well, at least for me. The last one, never search for, for what's wrong. Search for what can be made right. I like that one. Because too often we have the negativity in our world. Uh, even ourselves, we may say, oh, that person's this, or that person's that, or that organization's this. But instead of saying, well, you know, they have this one aspect, but here's a way they can do it differently or better. So my hope out of this discussion is it gets you to think about ways that you can do things differently, that you can have a philosophy that guides your life, that really tells others the way that, the type of person that you want to be. And the three that I have, I have many, of course, but the three that I have is that in the dawn of life, people strive, to, strive to, to make a living, but in the twilight of life, we strive to make a difference. The second one's one of my favorite. You can control the way you live your life, but you can't control the way others judge your life. And the last one is never search for what's wrong. Search for what can be made right. Everybody, I hope you develop your own philosophies. I hope this class and this school helps you to think in a way that allows you to create these philosophies that are going to guide your life in the future. Everybody enjoy the day. Take care.